Today we're going to be talking about our Rapid Intervention Vehicle, or RIV for short. Uh, out here at Station 7, everybody knows we have Engine 7, we have Crash 7, but we also have our RIV. Now, Las Cruces Re uh, Regional Airport is a Index A airport, meaning that our ARF requirements are that we have 500 pounds of a dry chemical extinguishing agent and at least 100 gallons of a premix uh, foam and water solution. Uh, now, normally, Crash 7 fulfills both those requirements by quite a bit. Uh, however, in the case of Crash 7 being out of service or we need a supplement, that's when we have our RIV. The RIV consists of a skid unit on board of the old Engine 5 brush truck F550 bed. The skid unit contains 200 gallons of foam premix, 500 pounds of dry chemical, Purple K, and 400 cubic feet of high pressure cylinders. Each of these high pressure cylinders are filled at 1900 to 2600 PSI and are just filled off our normal Scott compressors. They do not contain nitrogen. Normal operations of the RIV is pretty straightforward. With the battery of the unit on, check that all valves are open, flip all switches to the on position, watch the pressure regulators and make sure that they charge, and listen for the charging and pull the line. Be sure to open the foam line to slowly purge air. With no wind, the flow distances are as follows. Foam only, 65 feet. Dry cam only, 50 feet and dry cam with foam 65 feet. It's important to keep these distances in mind when staging the RIV and considering requirements for fire attack. The line on the RIV is 100 foot twinned lines on an electric hose reel, one inch internal diameter black nitro polyvinyl chloride hoob hose with a ball type shutoff nozzle and aspirating tip. One line is connected to the dry chemical sphere and the other to the AFFF premix. Each line can be activated with each bale. General best practice with uh, with flowing foam initially with dry chem used in short bursts as needed.